<laughs> Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> he thought he felt her hot, mossy breath on his eye. He blinked. She was gone. The beating of wings. Obsession. <laughs> the most incredible girl I ever kissed. Which puts her at the top of a list of what? Two? <laughs> Why can't these French guys just speak English like normal people? <laughs> Who cares how the French talk? I like how they kiss. Wait a minute. They kiss differently, too? Let me put it this way, boys. The tongue is not silent. <laughs> You're here. Yeah, the old Eric's here. New Eric's gonna be here in 90 days, according to Make Me Big magazine. <laughs> I don't want the new Eric. I want the Eric who's the best basketball player I know. Not the best anything. I'm scum. You're scum. You're scum. You're scum. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I'm a sophomore. You know what that makes me? Scum. 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 Seniors with their cars and their muscles and their Burger King trainee hats. Hey, Eric, you're ignoring me. Yeah, well, whole world doesn't revolve around you, Cor. <laughs> I'm starting to get that feeling. <laughs> Alan, it isn't funny. Morgan thinks she killed Santa Claus. <laughs> What's with the weasel? She locked herself in the bathroom and she's singing, on the first day of Christmas, I murdered Santa Claus. I'll go check on her. Oh, Morgan, if you come out, I'll let you play with my makeup. And a happy new year. Morgan, come out, Santa's fine. No, he's not. Well, then how come he just called me on the phone? He did? Yup. He said, ho, 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 oh, oh! <laughs> you will? Okay, great. Yeah, me too. All righty. Okay, bye. Yes! Yes! Phillies <laughs> one, eight, three! I'm going out with Heather Ralston. You know what that means? It means every guy in the 10th grade wants to be me. <laughs> If they win Friday night, they're in the playoffs. Oh, uh, look, Corey, we gotta talk about something. That makes the game we're going to the most important game of the year. Look, Corey, my date with Heather's Friday. Now, look, I got a slight case of detention from Feeney, but I'll just meet you at the bus. What? I wouldn't take him if you offered him to me. All right, look, I'll just take Heather somewhere else. Here, you want the ticket? Yeah! Get real! Yeah! <laughs> It's a puppy looking thing in the corner. Die! There's one we won't have to neuter. Fortunately, her date spilled food, tripped over chairs, and had nothing interesting to say for nine innings. Eric, you're much too cool for some girl. Newsflash, I'm not cool. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay, you're not cool. And Yeah, it's my first and last date with Heather. I never want to see her again. Good. Leave me alone. I'm trying to put Heather on my watch. What? Can't get it out of video baseball mode. Hey, how'd you get mom and dad to buy that for you? I bought it for me. Cashed my first week's paycheck, went down to the mall. Welcome to the wonderful world of stuff. <laughs> mom and dad just let you buy that? Yeah, he said it's my money. I can buy anything I want. Except that Buns of Steel video. Exciting investment opportunity. <laughs> Call my broker. Shearson, leave me alone. <laughs> Big man, doesn't even know what time it is. I do so, it is 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. How's work going, man? Work, I love work. Paint the shutters, paint the fence. You want paper, you want plastic. Don't drip the paint on the roses. Don't put the cans on the produce. I'm with you, man. I hate being an adult. <laughs> The water war to end all water wars. Both sides are claiming victory. 
I'd kill you, but I can't move. <laughs> Bagging groceries, chasing carts, price checks, spill on aisle seven. <laughs> oh, it's a nightmare. I only worked half a shift today. Oh, I don't know how he does it. Who? Dad. 12 hour days, never sits, eats his lunch standing up, never takes a break. It's like he's not human. It's like he's something. It's like he's Superman. Huh? Heather, I'm sorry. Look, you wear a turtleneck no one's even gonna notice. <laughs> okay, I sucked the neck. <laughs> I'll get it! Mr. Matthews, Leonard Spinelli, I work for your father. <laughs> I know that, Lenny. I see you at the store every day. Look, you're the assistant manager. I'm just a box boy. Why don't you call me Eric? That would make me intensely uncomfortable. I blanch at the thought. Lenny, was there something you had to tell my dad? Yes, there was. Hence, I came here. It's right now. <gasps> I had nothing to do with this. Cora, what did you do to your beautiful hair? Wasn't beautiful. It looked like Velcro. Nothing's gonna stick to that now, man. This is your fault. You got the good hair. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Okay. Dad, you think a little shampoo might... No. You see, the whole principle behind shampoo is that it actually has to touch your hair. It's completely ineffective if there's a polyurethane force field surrounding your hair. I just hope your hair doesn't fall out. Huh? Helen. Well, honey, a guy at work, Mike, put this kind of stuff in his hair, bald as a cue ball. Oh. Okay, what I'm doing is, I'm just trying to get my hair back to normal. Sure. If you say anything, I'll find some way to hurt you when I'm older. Not a word, man. I mean, it's cool, you know? So, don't worry about it. Hey! I own you now. for your brother and sister Friday night? Nope, sorry. Oh, you misunderstood. You thought I was asking you a question. <laughs> uh, Aerosmith's Friday. Oh, you heard about that concert, too? Yep. <sighs> Taking Heather Ralston. Great. Well, I'll call a sitter and we'll all drive together. What do you mean, together? I mean your dad and I have tickets, too. I don't want to sit near you guys, okay? I don't want to be in the same amphitheater as you. I don't even want to hear the same group as you. Go see if there are any seats left for Eric Clapton. You want to tell him? <laughs> Elton John. Ours. Led Zeppelin. Oh, please. Tina Turner. My mother's. Eric, if it bothers you so much that your mother and I go into this concert, why don't you rebel? Don't go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see your game here. You'd love it if I didn't go to that concert, wouldn't you? Yeah, nice try, Dad. Heather and I are going to that concert. We're gonna be there 64 rows behind you, breathing down your neck. So I try not to look down at row CC because Heather and I are having a pretty good time, you know? But I can't help looking. Your mom and dad sitting in row CC? No. Mom and dad are dancing in the aisles. Come on, Eric, I think your parents are really cool. Oh, good, I'm the lucky boy with the cool parents. You know, when I was your age, I had a father like the one you want. Well, what I wanted was a father like the one you got. Live with it. <laughs> Did my parents just leave us alone together? Yeah, I think they just did. I'm the lucky boy with the cool parents. <laughs> Not that cool. Hi, <laughs> Mom. Hi, Weasel. Eric, can you stay with Morgan for an hour while I show a house? Sure. You want to learn how to be a big girl? Yeah. Because big girls know how to take out the garbage so their brothers don't have to. Really? You teach me how to take out the garbage? Yep. What, am I an idiot? <laughs> I want my 
my Halloween costume. It's no big deal, Mom. I'll help her pick one out. Oh, would you? Yeah, if you could just drop us off at the store, I'll have Dad pick us up on his way home from work. Is that okay with you? I love it. <laughs> Ready? <coughs> Hop on, Reese. Well, hi, Can't talk, Mom. A lot of homework. Gotta go. Yeah, what he said. Something terrible? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Is my little sister hideous or what? Correct. Very gruesome. Blackout teeth? That's my little girl. There were no Cinderella costumes? Hundreds of them. And you had to choose Axe in the Head here? It's the last one. Oh, nice hanging eyeball. I wanted Morgan to choose her own costume. She did choose it, Ma. She wanted to be a zombie. Eric, 24 hours ago, she didn't know what a zombie was. The undead are cool. <laughs> Hi, I'm Morgan, and this is my brother, Eric. He's very shy. Ha, ha, ha. Good girl. <laughs> What are you teaching her? Nothing. I get to help Eric meet girls. <laughs> no, you don't. She doesn't. You don't. My brother thinks you are so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, this is why you've been taking her to the mall. Well, I think it's great. You do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's a perfect way for you and your sister to spend quality time together. It's a cool bullet, Grandma. Oh, yeah, and it's yours. I had the wagon master to go with it, but he slipped out of the cuffs in Juarez. <laughs> I hear they got some pretty hot babes sitting on the hoods of those hot rods. There's something I might enjoy. <laughs> hey, Cor, check it out. Had the Lamborghini girl sign my arm. Lamborghini girl? Eric, how can you even compare the Lamborghini girl to Cal Ripken? Has the Lamborghini girl played 1,900 straight games? Uh, no, but has Cal Ripken ever posed for the Victoria's Secret catalog? <laughs> Eric, I feel we're growing apart. I told her maybe we could take a drive once I get my license. She laughed, but it was a flirty laugh. <laughs> Graziella Terziana. <laughs> I think she's French. <laughs> Mr. Matthews, just the man I wanted to see. Mr. Feeney? Let me ask you. If one were entertaining a young woman, a young girl your age, um, how would he go about it? Mr. Feeney, you dating a teenage girl? <laughs> I would love to meet your niece, Mr. Feeney, but see, I got this really bad case of strep throat <laughs> spreading down my lungs and like into my pancreas, so as you can see, I'm, I'm completely strep. Relax. I'm merely curious as to how a contemporary teenage girl entertains herself. Oh, okay. Is this what's gonna happen to me when my hormones kick in? Yeah, like I don't have anything else in my mind but girls. Look, I got a lot of other things in my mind besides girls. A lot of other things. There's like, girl, girl, right there, right there. Where? It's Feeny's niece. She's unbelievable. I, I gotta think, I gotta think. She... I gotta take her to a world she's never been to before. Dinner, movie, movie, dinner. This has to be perfectly orchestrated or else it's gonna... Weasel! Dinner, movie, dinner. <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Feeney? And how can I help you in the garden today? <laughs> oh. Hi, I'm Eric. I'm Jessica. Strep throat cleared up, did it, Mr. Matthews? Strep throat? A guy like me? No, see, I work out much too hard to ever get strep throat. <laughs> So, uh, where would you like me to move this enormously heavy bag of fertilizer? I hadn't planned on moving it at all. Well, let me just effortlessly toss it over here, then. Who the... <laughs> this is my brother, Eric. He's very shy. Speaking of fertilizer... Mr. Feeney, would you like to come to the carnival with us? Oh, thank you so very much for asking, but no. I'd rather have gum surgery. Nick's gonna give me his new sunglasses. No, he's not. You know, you can really tell a lot about a guy by the way he treats his sister. 
Oh, you mean these? Oh. Here you go. Eric is such a good-looking boy. Yeah, thanks. Are we all done for the day? Yes, we're done. Bye-bye. Nice night, huh? Yeah. Well, we're just uh, passing through. Good. Pass. <laughs> Eric, the lib master. <laughs> yeah, sure. Look, anybody else or are we all done here? Everyone have a great day without me? How long have you been up there? Long enough to watch you swap spit with a feeny. <laughs> hey, Louise. Hey, Eric. Hi, new girlfriend. <laughs> oh, ignore her. When she was born, the doctor had to pry her little foot out of her big mouth. How was your day? I can't talk, Dad. I gotta go call Linda. Didn't you just leave her house? It was 10 minutes ago. <laughs> What's wrong with Linda? Some jerk at the mall called her a bad name. Where? Armwall? What did he call you? Oh, it's not important, Morgan. In our mall right here? Thank you. A boy at daycare once called me Poo Poo Head. <laughs> Thanks, Morgan. Mom. Come on, Morgan. Let's make some hot cocoa for everybody. I'm okay. dating a popular girl all because I was smart enough to get in on the ground floor. <laughs> Cheerleading is such a great experience for a girl. Mm. You know, I was a cheerleader. They had them back then? <laughs> yes, back then when the football was made out of a rock. <laughs> Bobo, skidit, and doot, and blinkin' high, eh? It and bit and dit and wit and little bo skid eat and doot and wit and dit and yo and dot and bo bo skid eat and doot and blinkin' high, eh? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Thank you. Dated. Unbelievably uncool, but cute. <laughs> Mom, cheerleading isn't that rah-rah stuff anymore. It's it's cool, you know? It's it's cutting edge. Look, why don't you show my mom something you learned so at least she knows what's going on nowadays? Okay, sure. Right here. Come on. Okay. <clears throat> Bobo's get eaten do out of time. Wit and Dotin, Bobo's Skiddy and Dotin, Which Fiddly Oat and Dotin, Bobo's Skiddy and Dotin, Adam's High, yay! All right! Yeah. So, what do you think? See, it's. it's cutting edge. <laughs> I could save up enough to get one of these vintage Mustangs and fill it with cheerleaders. <laughs> yeah? How are you gonna pay for the insurance? What? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Dad'll help me. What if Dad can't afford to help you, Eric? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll get another part-time job. Work two jobs and go to school? Oh, Eric, Eric, Eric. You're nothing but a poser. Poser, huh? <laughs> really? What do you think of this pose? <laughs> hey, guys. You ready for dinner? Uh, no, but I'll do anything to get away from Captain Bummer. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, she was doing the kissing. I, I was like an innocent bystander. <laughs> Yes, I could have walked away, but she had me pinned up against the lockers. I mean... What is it? Call her back later. Are you crazy? I didn't even know who that was. <laughs> Corey, Eric, wouldn't you like to meet Jim Abbott? <laughs> I guess not. Good morning. Let me give you a weekend weather update. Whether or not I have a date with Cindy this weekend depends on how partly cool I am in school today. There is a definite Vicky front moving in this Saturday, and temperatures are expected to rise. Cooling off by 10 o'clock when you're expected to be home. Oh, Mom, we both know how unpredictable the weather can be. Don't mess with Mother Nature. I'll be home by 10. Hey, Mom, you're a genius! Yes, I am. Hey, good luck at the game. Remember when all Dad's friends go up and tousle your hair and call you a tiger? Here's what a sincere smile looks like. <laughs> Come out, Tooth Boy. Why do I have to go? Look, Corey, I'd go. What if Dad and I started talking about golf? 
Talked about how someone broke his driver in the backyard hitting rocks with it. You wouldn't. I would. You wouldn't. I would. Okay, fine, I'm gonna go. But wait, what if Dad starts joking around about how nervous he is that you're getting your driver's license next year? I'd have to calm him down by seeing Eric's driven your car around the block a thousand times and nothing's ever happened. You wouldn't. I would. You wouldn't. I would. You wouldn't. What are you, new? <laughs> Look, I'm not going. Well, I'm not either. Well, I guess the only fair way is to let Dad decide. Fine. Fine. May the best excuse win. Dad! Dad! He hates it. He doesn't hate it. He's having a nice time. Nice isn't good enough, Eric. Remember how psyched he was about the softball game? That was the time he wanted. He wanted one lousy softball game, and we didn't give it to him. Look, we gave him dinner. We gave him dinner. Which he's given us, what, only every night of our lives. And we thought it would be such a big deal. I guess we should have just given him the game. Yeah. We should have just stepped up to the plate and said, I pledge allegiance to my dad and swung for that game-winning home run. Think that would have been better than... Look, I'm sorry I didn't call you back, Chris. Did I forgot? Do you forgive me? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> you know the big difference between guys and girls? Girls want commitment, guys want girls. What's the matter with commitments? You are so 11. Huh. <laughs> Hey, relax. You've got a responsible teenage son with no current social life. I'll take the weasel. Thank you. Well, you're going to use that rose to make up with Kristen. Are you kidding? She hung up on me. I mean, that's what she wants is for me to go back to her on my hands and knees and give her stuff. So are you going to give it to her? Yes, I am. <laughs> and if those are bowling shoes, there should be a number on the back just above the spike heel. <laughs> Eric, what does this mean? It means Mom's going to be flashing some leg when she picks up that 7-10 split. <laughs> La Bugia. La Bugia? That's a fancy dinner place seniors always take their prom dates. Why would mom be going there? Maybe mom's dating a senior. I mean, everybody else is. Why, well, hey, guys. Hey, Dad. Where's Sean? Oh, Sean decided to walk home. I'd have driven him. Oh, relax, Dad. He lives two blocks away. Now, why don't you sit down, relax, not think that anything terrible is going on in your life? Slice the pizza? Yeah, yeah. Hey, where's my change? <laughs> no, speaking of change, change can be a very positive thing in one's life, especially unexpected change, which, funnily enough, we're going to be talking about right now. Guess I'll have to have a little talk with your mother. Hey, I'm here for you, Dad. That's why I had you, son. Oh, no, he's lost it. He's turned into Freddy Krueger. I mean, you know how Freddy always smiles before... <laughs> She's gone. What? Mom's gone. She left. I don't see her. We'll never see her again, Eric. We don't have a mother anymore. Hi, guys. I overreacted. See, that's the fine line between being an adult and being a kid. When you're a kid, you see everything is right or wrong, black or white. Blonde or brunette. <sighs> I thought the school said they were sending over good students. Nah, you see, the problem with the smart kids is they all have goals to pursue. I'm just looking to get out of algebra. <laughs> Lucky me. I have a question. Who cares? This isn't like home, Eric. In here, when I raise my hand, you have to answer. I do? I do, too. All right. Now, next year, when you're 16 and driving to school, would you be willing to give a ride to a certain few select phlegm balls? Do I have to? I wouldn't. Drop dead. <laughs> what do I owe you? Somebody's in love with you. Oh, yeah? Who? Topanga Lawrence. You know, that hair in the front row with the girl attached? You're talking about a sixth grader? I don't understand. Oh, that's because you're not ready to understand. I am ready. You're not. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> Maybe you are ready. Uh, look, Corey told me about you. You are so wise. Yes, I am. And that wisdom comes from knowing that if you have a relationship based on looks, it's stupid and superficial. Hi, I'm Topanga's sister. Hi, I'm stupid and superficial. <laughs> I said Topanga wasn't feeling well. Wanted to come home? There's going to be maybe nine or ten other sixth grade classes from different schools making up your seventh grade class, and you're not going to know all those kids. A lot of them are going to think differently than you. What do you mean? Well, do you smoke cigarettes? No. A lot of kids in your new school will. A lot of them are going to try to press you into it. They're going to tell you how cool it is to smoke. You want to be cool, don't you? More than you could ever know. <laughs> maybe you'll smoke. 
I don't think so. Why not? Because according to the New England Journal of Medicine, smoking reduces lung capacity, leads to emphysema, and causes heart attack and lung cancer. Well, what if she thought it was cool? Then would you smoke? In a heartbeat. <laughs> Welcome to the world of peer pressure. I have a feeling you might say that, but I came up with a plan on how to save you $26,000. Say it with me, Dad. Harley. Say it with me, Eric. Schwinn. No, why didn't you tell us this before, Cor? He told me. It's gonna cost me the car, isn't it? <laughs> why didn't you tell us? You're supposed to tell us what he says. That's why you sleep in the same room with him. <laughs> It's a game. They pretend not to notice. They are very good at this game. <laughs> but then I pretend to not notice them not noticing. Bottom line is, <laughs> nobody walks away from this. <laughs> you have a rich inner life. I've had my eye on you. You are unbelievably handsome. You want to talk for a few minutes? Excuse me. I've had my eye on you. Are you aware that you're unbelievably handsome? You missed. I'm Alexis. What's your name? I used to know this. <coughs> what? You're gonna dump me for her? You make a decision, buddy, right now. Choose me or her. See ya. I, too, was discovered at the mall. Don't! Eric! Please don't let me give her any more of my money. I'm glad you're back. Huh, I bet you are. Now, look, I want... A job? What? Dad, we spent a lot of great times together, and I'm never gonna forget how well you treated me. Son, are we breaking up? Well... Actually, I'm leaving my job at the store. I got my first job as a model. It's just the beginning for me. I'm, uh, giving you your apron back. <laughs> Thanks for taking it so well, Dad. That is not the way you make an important decision that will change your life. You want to make an important decision? You consider every aspect of it. And after you have thoroughly thought this through, then, and only then, because I am confident in the way you were brought up, I will support you in what you want to do. I want to be a supermodel. <laughs> okay. Really? Really? Yes, really. I am not the type of father who dismisses his son's well-considered aspirations with some quickly tossed off parental negativity. That's it? Shut up! I want him to see me in all my glory. I quit. You can't quit. You signed a contract. Do you have any idea what it's like to, to dress up in a humiliating outfit and have people gawk at you like you're less than human? Been there. Done that. Well, for all that, Jason, I mean, we've been best friends since, what, we were three years old? Who are you gonna listen to, some girls you don't even know, or me? See ya. Are you asking for your job back? Uh, yes, but asking is just my opening offer. I'm prepared for begging and authorized to go as high as groveling. Eric, that position is filled. You like this girl? Well, then, you gotta take a big risk. I know about this. Oh, you do? Well, I'm always eager to get romantic advice from a fetus. I am a dating god. Worship me. You're hiding a puppy, huh? Come here, puppy. Where's a cute little boy? Oh, it's a big puppy. Okay, Eric, you're right. Ooh, Barney does the ABCs. You know, I don't want to ruin the ending for you, Cor, but, uh, Z. You totally underestimate me. I can fit into this master plan of yours. After you get your license, we could drive downtown and check out that new baseball card shop over on 3rd Street. Excellent! Yes! And then we could go to the drive-thru and, and pick up a bucket of hot wings for me and Sean to eat with the movie. Oh, yes! 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 That's why I'm getting my license. So I can bring my little brother to all the places he's ever wanted to go to. Uh, 
Unless Jason and I have a date with two totally major babes. Oh, wait, we do. But here's a lovely parting gift. <laughs> I am so proud to be the best friend of the first guy in history to fail his driver's test before it started. <laughs> the DMV guy waved me forward. I mean, I pulled up like two inches. That was not the DMV guy. That was the father of the kid ahead of you. And how am I supposed to know that? I mean, I'm at the DMV. I assume the guy waving me forward is the DMV guy. Eric, DMV guys are cops, okay? They don't usually wave you forward with a can of beer. <laughs> I am not lying to my parents. I mean, they trust me. They gave me life. They deserve better from me. Okay, you got that out of your system? Yeah. What's the plan? <laughs> you are gonna drive us on a date. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to a classical music concert with a friend and... You? Classical music? Mm. Beethoven or Prokofiev? Uh, Beethoven. Symphony or concerto? Uh, symphony. Blonde or brunette? Blondes. Brahms. <laughs> so the real sp for the next four Sundays? Two Sundays. Five. Done. <laughs> Return. Uh, just because you were once my sixth grade teacher does not give you the right to tell me what to do. Go to your room! Apparently it does. <laughs> I, uh, I sort of failed my driving test. But you still decided to sort of drive my car without a license. Well, you're going to get your license. And then I'm going to take it away. You are going to be a pedestrian for life, pal. I am truly a dead man. <laughs> These could be our last few precious moments together. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to me? Yeah. Here's a lovely parting gift. <laughs> Both of you are grounded for two weeks. Ah! Two weeks! Grounded! That's horrible! There's more. There's, There's more. more. <laughs> During those two... Come on, I'm gonna be late for gymnastics. Eric, come on! Little League starts in 20 minutes. And we have to stop at the cleaners to pick up my uniform. I want to stop for frozen yogurt. And we have to pick up Sean, and we have to stop and get pizza because you're the snack mom. Little League! Frozen yogurt! I'll drive off a bridge, I swear I will. I'll take your mother's car. <laughs> get up, somebody just put a box in your face. <laughs> on your face. <laughs> no, of course I know your name is Don. I mean, uh, Vicky's just a little pet name I like to use. You know, like, uh, Honey, Darling, Vicky. You're gonna hang up on me now, aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, Cor, if you just kept them wrapped up like my buck knife, none of this ever would have happened. You told me to wear them! Sometimes you gotta know when to ignore me. <laughs> just tell Mom and Dad I went to Sean's for dinner. Okay, you're covered. All right, thanks. Hey, be careful. Not that I care. <laughs> For five bucks and you never tell mom, I'll throw the goofy golf tournament this year. Hey, dad and I don't need you guys to take a dive for us to win. <clears throat> yeah, you do. <laughs> what? Why'd he do that? Mom, he could lose his job. They could bust him down a box boy. I thought you wanted him to talk to his boss. Oh, way to go, Corey. If Dad gets fired, they're never gonna keep me on. <laughs> You've destroyed the whole family. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Sorry, Corey, I guess I lost track of the time. All right, hang on a minute, Corey. This is guy stuff, okay? Basketball is guy stuff. <laughs> they're so cute at this age. <laughs> All right, so you and Hillary are sitting in the movie theater. Uh, what'd you go see? Like we watched the movie. <laughs> Ah, second date slump. I've seen it happen a thousand times. Not to me. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, Cor. When I got home from work, you and Topanga were looking pretty cozy on the couch there. That was not a date. She just came over to bring me some aura juice. And? <laughs> and nothing. I taught her how to shoot a basket. Okay, so let's recap. Point A, she brought refreshments. Point B, you chose the activity. Sounds like a date to me. Mm. Read my lips. There was no date. <laughs> what gift? I can make people sick. Now, now see, I've always known that, Carmen. I mean, why do you think I sleep with a barf bag? <laughs> Eric, I'm serious. Blah, 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 blah. You're still here. Ups.